All right. Welcome, everyone, to the Saiga Show. This is a very special episode because it's the final episode of the year. We're closing out 2022. So, first of all, we just want to say thank you to everyone that has been listening. If you've been watching us on YouTube, liking, commenting, we appreciate your support a lot, especially those that you know, send us messages on social media, either letting us know how, how much, how helpful they find our, our episodes or just uh, giving us feedback or comments. We appreciate all of it. So if you guys could keep doing that for next year and continue to show us support, liking our videos, continuing to comment, it, it means a lot to us because that's, that's why we do this. We do it for you guys, right? So it helps us knowing that you know, you guys are actually finding benefit out of this, right? Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you, everybody. Again, I, I will piggyback on you in that one. Um, thank you to all of you guys. And please keep sending comments, uh, subjects, things that you want to hear. Um, hopefully anything that we can do for you guys and help anybody else and their the needs or maybe in some time they lost or even some clarification. Um, that is what we're here for. So thank you again. And yeah. You take over now, my friend. <laughs> yeah, so this episode, it's basically going to be around that same topic, which is the end of the year. What does that mean for you? What does that mean for us? And, you know, what the plan is for next year. You know, things that you should keep in mind, what you should be doing now. And, um, you know, I we should talk about maybe things that we accomplished this year, right? Or, or yeah. like a, our end of year accomplishments, right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I, I mean, uh, but a lot of people for the uh, end of the new year, right? right. End, of, end of the year, I'm sorry, end of the year, what that means for a lot of people. Uh, what it means for you, for example, end of the year? Um, for me, I see it like looking back, this is the time to look back and see what I accomplished this year. Um, okay. See if like what I, what goals I set myself the previous year things that I told myself I wanted to do this year, things that I wanted to get done, things I needed to change, habits and things like that. So for me, it's it's kind of seeing where I'm at, seeing if I was able to reach certain goals that I had and basically just set new goals for, for next year, right? Okay, beautiful. And that's true. I mean, uh, some people do that. Other people is thinking, okay, under the year, vacation time. Right. Uh, or, yeah, uh, a lot of places are closed. Um, also, family time, of course, to get together with the family, uh, relax time. I mean, all these kind of different things. But um, uh, to be honest with you, uh, people should use this uh, the way that you kind of mention it. Um, we should be using this time uh, to go back and analyze what happened in the year, right? And we're talking about entrepreneurs. We're talking about salespeople, insurance, insurance salesperson as well. Um, you should start looking the year and focus and see what happened, right? Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I did bad. I, I tell you, the first thing I want you to focus is on why you did good, right? right? So what was the main things that worked this year for you? And, and you should actually put in a piece of paper. A lot, a lot of time, you know, like for example, you, maybe you feel like, oh, I have an excellent year. This year was amazing for me, right? Mm -hmm. But then you're thinking overall. You don't know specific things, right? Right. And maybe they were shown specific things that you, do, you did this year. Mm -hmm. They help you to push you forward. So you need to get a piece of paper and start writing down and identify all those things that you did that make a change and make an impact in your life. Right. Make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. So, for example... Let's see, even in personal things, like even see, let's see, for example, oh, this is one year that I stopped drinking Coca-Cola for a whole year. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And, and that's <laughs> now I'm marketing for the company, but uh, for sodas. Yeah. Uh, but it was crazy because I've never done it before in my life. So I'm excited mm, of nice. January 2nd to drink my first one <laughs> oh. <laughs> after a whole year. After a year. Yeah. yeah. No, but it's in, in, in that case, for example, is to see how strong can you be. Like the reason yeah. why I look and I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it is because for a lot of times I tried to stop and I couldn't. I could I stopped it for months. Right. I stopped it for days, weeks, and all the stuff. But now I did it for a whole year. Yeah. So what it's it tells me is that now I can do another one that I have, uh, I have another project in, in, in <laughs> there too, right? That I can't even <laughs> go for it. Yeah. So 
but, but I, so when you do when you do analyze things that you have done positive in and in, in, sorry for the example but I, in your business right right or, or personal life like we were saying you're gonna be able to see what happened how you got it done mm. and know that you are a person that can make those changes right right because a lot of times we have done in the past different things that we say, no, I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. But maybe because you took a different approach, maybe because you're trying to take up too many things at the same time, right? Mm-hmm. But I, <clears throat> And that can even put you down if you don't accomplish things. Yes, absolutely. A lot of people say, no, I don't want to even waste my time because I won't make it. Yeah. So they're already giving up in there, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Go back and focus on what was the things that you did this year that were they change your life, they push you forward. And when I say push you forward, that doesn't mean from zero to 100. Even no, they no. push you to zero to 10. Right. You know? Yeah. Or anything that you have accomplished this year, write it down and, and, and that will help you to see how strong can you be, mm-hmm. right? And for your business, it will help you to see what you need to do. Right. Now, if you did something and it works pretty well, right? Right. Analyze it. Say, oh wow, it's pretty good. What about if I tweak in here, tweak in here? Maybe you don't. Maybe you can do some tweaks, right, to get it better. Mm-hmm. Maybe some stuff. I'm gonna leave it alone. I just right. need to make sure that I continue doing it. Yeah. And what I say this that you need to make sure that you continue doing it, because unfortunately, with the time that we, with more time that we put in business or with more time that we do some things, in in work related, mm-hmm. unfortunately, we stop doing things. I don't know if you ever hear a expression say, go back to the basics. Oh, yeah. Right. Why? Because we forgot that we the basics help us to get to someplace else. Exactly. So we, oh, no, no, I know how to do this. I don't have to do this part. And then year pass and they say, what I'm doing wrong? But go back to the basics. You know you were working. Right? Exactly. So there's exactly. some stuff that you will realize that you need to continue all the time. And if you put in a piece of paper and you analyze it, you know that you had to keep doing it. Mm. So that is the advantage of that part. Right. So it's essential that they not only just think about it, but that they also write it down. It's better because when you think about it, like, for example, I'm thinking about something right now. And then at night, you're going to have a Christmas, um, a New Year party. Uh, mm-hmm. People is going to be uh, some margaritas or something like that, or right. just a food meal, and then you forgot about it. Next year, you go on vacation. Next year, the kid got sick, the car broke down, and all this stuff. <laughs> and then guess what? What are those goals? Yeah, yeah they're gone. <laughs> the, the, thing that you, the thing that you thought, the, the, the thing that you, were, that you understood, that you, that you put in your mind, is loaded with so many things. Mm. Yeah, that's true. So mine is beautiful, but you also have to help it because sometimes we get a lot of information in our, in our heads. Oh, yeah. So right. in, in sometimes some information will kick another one out of the way. Right. Like for those that we are parents, if something happened with our kids, right away we jump on it. Yeah. So there's no priority or nothing else. I push, 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 and then, yeah, and then you start going after you take care of that, you start going, check it out, what's going on with everything else. Mm-hmm. And those in those gaps, you can lose information that was important. Yeah, that's true. So if you take this time and and, and analyze things and start writing down, and you put it even as an agenda, put it in the calendar, for example, that we, like we talked a couple a couple podcasts before, mm-hmm. um, and then you say, okay, I need to do this every Friday. Now it works actually, so I'm gonna put every Friday. So I go to my calendar, I put every Friday, whatever, and put repeat every week, and boom, that's it. Right. I make sure that I don't forget. It doesn't matter what is in my head. It doesn't matter what happened in my life. I will do the stuff. Mm-hmm. And when you add things, it's it's not like you erase the stuff that you were doing. Like you mentioned, you always have to stick with the things that worked for you in the beginning. Correct. Keep them there already. So imagine what will happen to you if you get this year, you get the things that worked for you last year. I mean, mm-hmm. sorry, in 2023, you, you apply, let's see, for example, three things per week. Right? Let's see, you were right. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You decided, you know what? I, I, I was doing this follow up on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for example, and it was pretty well. I was able to grow a lot of business, right? Right. So then you go to your calendar and you put Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right? Mm-hmm. 2023. Mm-hmm. Now, 2024, you already had that, right? And you start new things. 
Mm-hmm. So you you know I can put something on Tuesday on Thursday or whatever. So you're gonna complete and you're gonna go, you're gonna get an, a really nice agenda or a really nice calendar or, a really, or or your life will surround with a lot of activities, productive mm-hmm. activities that will get you some results. Right. Exactly. But if you never start doing that, it's gonna be empty. Yeah. What every year you have to figure <laughs> out what to do. Yeah. Oh, I did pretty good year. How you did it? I don't know. I woke up and I went to work and that's it. But I feel good, yeah. Yeah, but I need good money, or yeah. I did pretty good job, or whatever. But I, what right. you do, I don't know. You understand? Exactly. You can't measure it either. Correct. So yeah. that is what is important. Now, the bad things that happen in this year, or the or the bad experience, right? Mm. I say take a look for them. Take a look of them, uh, but don't don't stay too long. Just take a look to see if the, the, there's a learning in there. Right. Right. Yeah. Of course. So I'm gonna just take a, a quick peek and I say, hmm. Yeah, I got it. I, I, so I got something in there. Because what happened when you go to those uh, negative experience or even uh, bad results or something, yeah. a lot of people tend to stay there. Right. And yeah. they say, oh, my God, my life, oh, whatever. I don't know if I'm going to be able now in 2023 to do something or, or what about my life or whatever. So and, and, that, and, and that's a common thing. People trying to do this, tend to do those things like that. Mm-hmm. So that's what I say. Pick, take, take a quick look just to learn. Right. If you can learn something from there, better and move on and just discard. So next time I don't do this, next time I have to do this. That's it. Exactly. Yeah, there's always something you can learn from right. those experiences. If you were not able to learn nothing, just move on. Don't stay too long in there because then you're going to open a hole in there and then you're going st- to st- get stuck in there. Okay? Right. Exactly. It's uh, obviously, you know, it, it's not easy to just brush things off and then just move on. I think personally, like, you have to deal with it feel whatever you need to feel about certain things that happen. Correct. But like you said, okay, I took what I could from it, it but now it's over. Now Let's it's move time. on. Yeah. Let's do it next. Right. Because there's, time keeps moving, you know, you can't just stay stuck on things like that. But that's why you have to plan and do things, for example, now for the next year. Like yeah. Start planning for next year. Um, set those like resolutions. Right, our favorite thing, what we yeah. talked about last podcast. So, yeah, so <laughs> like before we go there, I, I, for the I, so basically for 2022, right now, and uh-huh. even I tell you something, uh, I, uh, most of the people you should be start analyzing that even a month before okay. for the for business wise, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, business wise, you should be yeah. actually plan to analyze everything so you can have a nice plan for next year, right? Mm. Um. But then when you say, yeah, we're talking about now, next year, right? This is the thing. We are in the line that we're finishing here. We're starting a new year, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because before in my life, when I was a kid, I used to remember all those resolutions that people does, right? I'm going to start right. in the gym. I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to do this. I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to all this stuff. Right. Um, the funny things for those resolutions is, one, um, I need you to understand that you don't need to wait for a whole year to change. No, no not at all. And unfortunately, a lot of us and a lot of people, and I have seen in, in prior experience training people, uh, when they're in October, they say, no, but next year's going to be better. Man, it's October. <laughs> you still have a lot of more time that you can make it happen, you know? Yeah. Um, so we use that as an excuse. Right. And that's the problem, too. You basically, you can change your life every single moment, every single second. I can close my eyes and I say, okay, I'm new. I'm starting new. So let's start doing new things, right? Yeah, exactly. So, or even when you go to sleep, you and I go something bigger. So when you go to sleep, the next day is a new day. You don't have to wait for a whole new year, right? <laughs> right. And, and the problem with the resolutions also is because, I, I don't know if you noticed it, the, most of the gyms actually get more uh, memberships in January and February oh, or yeah. something like that. It's so December, cool. January, February. And then mm. by March or even be, uh, end of February, they start disappearing people. Yeah. And mm-hmm. if you are a, a person that goes to the gym, uh, you will see Monday, Tuesday, there's a lot of people, um, right. um, always. always. And it's funny because I, I think that we got a crazy weekend with a lot of food, so we feel guilty, so we go Monday. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was so busy that day. <laughs> and then Thursday yeah. or Friday, it's, a, it's like, you know, inside of the head, the gym is beautiful, empty, oh, so yeah, you can, we can work it out anyway. So that's the bad part of the resolution. When you're trying to do those things, we are back it up plan. Mm. Right. That's the, that, then it, it's going to, it, it's, it's failure, right? Yeah. 
So in, in we can call resolution as a, like a kind of planning, but it's more like a wish. But if you add a resolution with planning, oh yeah, then we can get better results. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's like you said, yeah, basically it's like a wish. Like, oh, for next year, this is what I want to do or I would like to do. These are my resolutions. Okay, that's great. But, uh, but that's nothing on? else. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there's, just, there's just a wish. And a wish to... Uh, yeah. yeah, there's nothing else. Well, now, if you yeah. added a little more time because you analyze things this year and you start putting a plan together for those resolutions, then it's going to be able more... More of those things will happen to you. Yeah, exactly. And it's like you said, it's even more important if you're a business owner or, you know, you have your own, you manage your own uh, company and things like that. You need to start planning for those things, right? Yeah. There's certain goals that you want to reach. So how are you going to take your business there? How are you going to get it to reach those things that you're setting for yourself for next year? Right. And it's important that you see what you did this year so you can learn from it and plan. And it's like you said earlier. It's not about going from zero to a hundred. You need to make progress, but it doesn't matter how if, big, how big. A little step small. take you someplace. Exactly. Yeah. So that's uh, that's super important. A lot of times, and, I, and and maybe I I think that now you mentioned like that, and because I start first, I used to drink three Coca Colas per day. <laughs> yeah, I know it's bad. <laughs> they were so good, but they're bad. Yeah, they're then good. I stopped after a year because I just started like I started, I couldn't stop it. Then I started for fifteen days. No, it was right. a thirty day challenge. Oh my god, it was hard. I, I, <laughs> I was I was sweating and everything. Yeah. Fifteen days later, I was sweating. Then I start uh, only one time every two weeks or something like that. Then I start for three months or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now they are telling you this. I told you that I did it for a whole year, and I don't miss it. No, but no. maybe because I already did those little stops, steps. Oh yeah, that's absolutely. maybe part of that part. The 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 the, the change. Yes, you know? exactly. You had to build up to it. You know? So every little step will help you. It's better than nothing else. Yes, okay? absolutely. So that's super important. And also <clears throat> another good thing um, to keep in mind is that the new year or next week, it's all just. It's not real. It's our. It's in our mind. Um, it's, it's something that we use as an excuse, which I didn't even really think about it like that. But that's true. It's a, It's an excuse because you give yourself more time to continue doing the things that you know you shouldn't be doing, or you're you're telling yourself that you don't want to do. <laughs> but you so you postpone. Say for example, like okay, you want to start uh, eating healthier. Or like you said, stop drinking soda, which is incredibly difficult <laughs> if you've done it your whole life, right? Yeah, it was. <laughs> so you'll say, okay, you know what? I'm going to do it, but I'll start next year. So you're giving yourself all this time to continue doing it. And it's like you said, like it just gets harder and harder. But yeah. that's why you don't have to wait till the next year. Yeah. Although in this case, next year is already <laughs> next week, right? So this week, yeah. <laughs> Still, you can start tomorrow. You can start tomorrow, tomorrow. yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing about New Year, and in, 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 it's really important, for example, for the people that we are in sales, right? Let's see mm -hmm. that you have an amazing year, 2022. Congratulations. Enjoy it. Um, be proud about it, yeah. right? Of course. Uh, feel like a champion. Um, take a good trip or give yourself a good gift or whatever you want to do because you did an amazing job, right? Right. So excellent. Now, um, something that happens a lot is when they start a new year, you start, you're still the same way thinking that. No, trying to start from zero, reset everything zero. Mm. So, like, let's see, for example, this year we did uh, $10 million in sales, right? right? And I'm excited I did 10 or something like that, right? And then in January, February, no, but last year I did $10 million. Mm. And it's March, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but last year I did $10 million, right? right? Yeah. So, unfortunately, that part is, is, is tricky because that even keep people attached um, it, 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 it's stuck, actually. We'll say more stuck, the attached is stuck. Mm -hmm. And they don't want, and we don't want to do anything else. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. So when you say, okay, the year is over, uh, let's just start from zero again and, and numbers and boom, then you get more excited because there's nothing in the board. Right. Yeah. yeah I did a good job last year, but this year or today, I'm doing not, I have done nothing. 
Exactly. Or tomorrow, yeah. what I have tomorrow going on, you know? Right. So it's reset from zero. That is one of the If you are a brand new person, I mean, you don't have nothing back to check it out. But if you've been in business for a while, uh, I know in, in more in insurance because we have the beautiful thing on, on residuals. Mm. A lot of people get cons- co- co- uh, comfortable. Oh, yeah. Because right. I already got my ch- monthly check even out of move a finger. Right. But if you don't even think about those and then you reset from zero, I'm going to say, okay, let's see what I'm going to do this year. Let's mm-hmm. meet. My plan is to beat my numbers from last year. Right. That's a good goal to have. Yeah. I always, I never, it's funny because in, during my career, it, uh, and we, I, mean, I don't think that we ever talk about this, um, a lot of people, they met me, they know everything on my numbers and things. Like, oh, good job. You've been, and I was, oh, okay, cool. I have no idea my numbers in some kind of, which is not good, uh, but I was not paying attention. I was paying attention about if I can do more. Right. But I never see my amount. I just look at my people, how many people have talked to, uh, help, and my bank account is growing, so I was happy, excited. But I didn't know the numbers, right? But mm-hmm. a lot of people know my numbers. And it was kind of interesting to know that part. But then, at the same time, uh, every year I was not competing with, against somebody else. I was competing against myself. Right. So I know that last year at the end, I did that this much. I said, I can need to push myself to do this. Exactly. Yeah. And not because this guy or this lady did better or whatever, or I know they have a bigger office or they ha- or she has a bigger office or they have whatever. You know, it's about why I couldn't do more. Mm-hmm. And that was my own challenge. So that mm-hmm. was a good, a good point for me to push, right? But again, <clears throat> reset back to zero. That's the best part. Yes, exactly. Because it's like you mentioned, that was great that you accomplished a lot of things the previous year, but you haven't done anything this year. Yeah, right? you can't be living in the next. In the next, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's how you continue growing. That's the best mindset. To and, have. and keep you hungry. Keep you with energy. Keep you with that mentality of doing more stuff. Yeah, because like you said, it's easier to get comfortable if if you're feeling like a winner already, but. Yeah. You got to keep that mindset like, okay, but what have I accomplished today? What am I going to accomplish this year? That's important to have. And also another thing is not comparing yourself to others. Um, I think that's very important because you see other people, if you're in business or in sales, it, it's, it, could, it could get very yeah. competitive. So you see what other people are doing and you're like, okay, I'm falling behind. I'm not doing as much. Like it's easy to compare yourself with others, but see how you can better yourself in your own way. That's, I think that's the most important thing is just doing the best you can for yourself because you want to be the best for yourself, right? Excellent. The best version of yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. When you, when you, uh, the reason because it's not good to come, I mean, it's, it's, you can see the market and see, okay, these agencies or all these salespeople have this, right? But then you have to be able to look yourself and say, do I'm doing the best I can? Right. Do I'm calling so many people? Do I'm even canvassing? Do I even trying to talk to more people? Do I calling my clients? Do I'm doing these kind of things? And if you see that you have more opportunity to do different things that you haven't done before because you analyzed it last year, <laughs> so then you're going to be able to improve and get better and better and better. So you don't right. have to look around. I mean, you look around just to have an idea of the market, uh, but actually people should be looking at you to see how dangerous you are, you know, because you're <laughs> right. going a lot. Exactly. And then that's exactly what you did, which is you didn't pay attention to other people's numbers. You weren't comparing yourself to them, right? You just did what you knew you could do and did even better. Yeah. So. In, in, in going back a little bit, something about last year, when, when you look in your year, actually, um, there was also like opportunities you want to find now when you start looking the good things you did right. and maybe the mistakes. This going to come in uh, uh, areas that you can improve or you can even start. Mm, right. You know, I'll give you an example. And back in my time also, I did pretty good job in different areas. And when I was looking... Uh, I, I saw a, a couple areas that I was not working on. And I said, oh, shoot, I never thought about this. Let me try this year. Let me focus. This one I'm running pretty good. I have systems right. in place. We have everything going. Let me check it out if I can push this way now. Mm-hmm. And it was a big uh, a new opportunity. So actually, I never thought about it. So it, that's, that's the good thing to take a good look 
about overall your business, what you have done during the year. Right, exactly. That's true because you're probably not seeing the entire picture, right? So it's, yep. it's good to review it all, look back and see what other opportunities you might have missed, things that you could be taking advantage of. Yeah. Right? Then there's one more thing that I want to say about this end of the year. A lot of people, and I was one of them before, I used to take a, around two weeks of vacations in, in, at the end of the year and, mm. and shut down the whole office for two weeks, right? Right. Um, and, and agents do that when you're independent, you can do that stuff, and you're at home with kids, family, because kids are on vacation, so you have to be taking care of them. Um, and so you, you, you're not paying attention. You told your clients, I will be off for two weeks and people understand that, right? Yeah. Um, but one of the things I'm going to tell you, if you are a person that taking vacation, even in any time of the year, it doesn't matter if it's December, it doesn't matter if it's in June or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. The best advice I'm going to give you, uh, is, uh, schedule a busy calendar when you back right away from the first day. Mm, right. So I'll give you an example because that happened to me a long time ago in one of my first year, I think. So I took a big vacation. Uh, I made pretty good money my first year in insurance. Yeah. I went to Colombia for vacation for almost three weeks. <laughs> um, and when I come back, uh, I was in Chicago. It was cold as hell. When I'm right. coming from the hot weather, having fun with friends, family, and all this stuff, I had good money in my bank account. It was kind of hard to start again and go canvassing and prospecting and get this thing running again. Mm, you know, to that routine. Yeah, because you, oh, wow, I start from again. So what I did my second year, because it was hard, it took me, and to be honest with you, it took me almost a month and a half to be able to even start working <laughs> nice after I came back. Yeah. Wow. It was yeah. hard. <laughs> um, but then... Um, then second year, I kind of, when I was taking a you know, look at that stuff, I said, yeah, I didn't like that. It was, it was hard, man. It was hard. It was minus five in Chicago, so to start working. So I said, I don't, want, I don't yeah. want to waste all that time. So what I did is I put, I put appointments right away in the, uh, after the day that I came back. So I came back on Saturday. I took always Sunday off to re recoup. And Monday, I started running with appointments. Mm. Appointments are already with clients. Nice. So I don't yeah. had I, I had to be in my best in my best uh, fit, right? Yeah. I had to be sharp. I had to be ready. I cannot be like, oh, let's go to the office to drink coffee. No, I had to be sharp again and, and start running. Yeah. So it got me it got me running better, faster. Right. It's like you're splashing cold water in your face. Hey, and let's do it. Let's get it. Yeah. yeah let's <laughs> get it done. So that's just one thing. If you're taking vacation. Uh, and you already did it. I mean, trying to see if you can schedule appointments as the next day when you back on work. But appointments that will challenge the appointment, not just, oh, I'm going to be in the office all day. No, mm -hmm. trying to get appointments that challenge you so you get in your feedback right away and you're ready for uh, approach the year with more energy. Absolutely. And you don't waste any time, you know, like trying to recoup after yeah. the vacation. Oh, well, yeah, no. To get yourself back into that mindset, not just. <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't Just, work like that that no, easy. Exactly. That's that's a very good point. Yeah, so now I want to talk about something that's a lot of people are now speaking of. And people say that it's it's going to happen next year. It's, it's inevitable and things are looking pretty rough already, which is the recession, right? So some people say we're already in it, but, you know, it, and it's most likely going to happen next year. So I just, I want to know what your thoughts on that are. Okay. So there's, there's a couple of things in, in about recession. And I hear, yeah, we hear all the time. And even we have a big personality saying, save your money. I don't know, you know, I don't want to say the name, but. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, well, we can say it, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think Bezos. They, yeah. He say, okay, don't spend money on all this stuff. And we're talking about one of the richest guys in the world. He's selling that. So it's kind of scary, right? Yeah, because then it'll, it'll affect his business, right? So in the, so we That's... we assume there's a good thing that he's telling this advice. So, yeah. right? Um, but the same time as this, like um, if we're going to be living with fair, it's, it's hard because then you won't be able to do nothing in the business, right? Oh, yeah. Um, but I want you to understand is, okay, recession is going to happen. If, if happen, it won't happen. Um, there's nothing that you can control. No. Right? 
maybe yeah pay attention and don't go spend the money in the in brand new car and put all your savings and all the stuff in there that will put a little caution in there yes mm -hmm. um but uh if, if something happened um you need just to make sure that you continue doing whatever you're supposed to be doing um, exactly. Give an example. For example, in 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 we COVID, there was a good experience that we never had it before in our lives, right? At least. Oh yeah. I don't know how other people, but uh, that's my first pandemic. <laughs> um, and I saw a lot of business closing. We saw a lot of business closing. A lot of small businesses right? are shut down. Yeah. But there's also some small businesses that they become creative and continue fighting and survive. Yeah. Yes, that's a great point. So one, you say, oh yeah, my recession, I don't do nothing, let's shut down. And then and then when you shut down, there's no money coming. So now you're in recession because you're even trying to do nothing else, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so it, it can be like that. I, uh, an example is, for example, in the recession, uh, my office, we actually, uh, there were not too many people, or mostly my biggest clients were closed, or right. the access, right? Mm -hmm. And we still ended up number one in sales in that, in that particular place, right? Uh, but I'll I, I tell you something. I, sp I talk, the, long, the, the most I had talked in my life was that year. Because <laughs> I had to be talking to everybody. I was right. calling people all the time. I was uh, helping people to get out of the mindset that, oh my God, or even, uh, even be afraid or even get out or even or afraid of doing things. Right, exactly. it's all this thing, and, and and I use an example when when the, in two thousand eight I live at, uh, I, the the the, um, the recession in two thousand eight. Mm -hmm. I use this example a lot, right? Um, I, everybody was saying, "Hey, um, uh, there's no the people they don't have money. It's hard, the market, and all these kind of different things." Right, and it got to a point that I just started feeling afraid that too because in that time my my girl was only one year old. My, 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 my first baby, right. right? She was only one year old. And I'm like, oh my God, I just got a baby and uh, I'm 10 nice and, and I don't know if I have too many, I, I, I listen, but I don't, I mean, you're still scared about yeah. stuff, right? Of course, yeah. So then you start saying, okay, so what's gonna happen? And then one of friend invited me, I think that we talked before, invited me to go get some drinks and we went to get a drink and the bar was full, it was packed. <laughs> and I say, yeah. it doesn't look like a recession. It was during right. the weekdays. So people say, yeah, when people is afraid, uh, worried, they go drink. And I say, okay. So I went to more bars also during that week, took pictures to everybody. I went in the mall during the weekend mm -hmm. and mall was packed. Yeah. People told me, no, people go to the mall just to walk around. I took pe uh, pictures of people with packages buying things still, the mall was packed. Exactly. So I brought that to a presentation to my team and we presented. And I say, guys, people's gonna continue spending money in stupid stuff and drinks and coffee, right? Or you want to protect them with life insurance that we have or product that we have, Something and that's that what we did. did. Right. So you you're gonna decide, and we cannot stop it, we cannot control it. Um, right now, we don't. I believe that we don't have that power, mm -hmm. but um, we you can control how you gonna confront it. Exactly. And you're gonna yeah. be positive. You're gonna be part negative. Yeah. You're gonna adapt or not? Yeah, and I tell you something: if recession happen and you are in the insurance business, it's, it's a pretty good business, recession-proof industry. I will tell you that. But I also, you're gonna to have to work harder than you ever have worked. That's for, <laughs> that one for sure. But yeah. you you will make it happen. If you just gonna be working a slow or remote or once in a while, it's gonna be hard for you, and you're gonna be part of the people that's gonna lose a lot of money or people that lose in the businesses. Oh yeah, absolutely. And the what you just mentioned about the pandemic, uh, I believe that that was a time that life insurance sales skyrocketed, right? Because, I mean, people were afraid for whatever whatever the reason. There was opportunity, and if you were to have the mindset like, oh, "I'm not going to make any sales. It's going to be extremely tough," you would have never taken advantage of that because you didn't see it that way. So it's important that you look for opportunities and adapt your business to the situation because that's ultimately what's going to make you succeed in the long run. Yeah. We saw body, uh, barber shop, for example, they shut down because they couldn't talk to people, right? They couldn't call the, the, the hair to people or something like that. But also we saw barber shop, they put the chairs outside of the, mm -hmm. of the establishment 
and it started cutting the people outside. My barber started doing house calls. So he started going to people's houses. I mean, everyone that goes, to, well, the majority is pretty local. So he was going to their places, charging extra. So he was making more money uh, doing that as well. And then one of my favorite restaurants, um, they had a huge place, but they obviously they had to close it down. They went to just pure takeout and they adapted everything. They moved everything and set it all up. So it's just for takeout. And even faster, maybe. It's even yeah. faster. And even till this day, they never open the restaurant. <laughs> They're just takeout. <laughs> so it is working. It's always packed. It's working, working a lot better for them because yeah. they adapted it. And now they're even more successful, maybe even saving a lot of money on not, not having people sit inside. Yeah. They just have a small little patio outside, but they're, they're booming. So something like that is, is in, in, I mean, hopefully it won't be that bad, uh, the recession if it comes, right? Yeah. Uh, but I couldn't be that. So you're going to have to adapt it because money is still, uh, money is still there. I love, um, I love this, I think the Grand Cardone say, money's already made it. You just have to learn how to get it. <laughs> and it's true. I mean, yeah. it's not like, uh, oh, there's no money. No, money is already everywhere. Oh, it's there. I mean, they have yeah. already printed those bills, cut it and send it to everywhere. So money's <laughs> out there. So it's now for us to learn how to get that money. And if everybody put their own part and, and work hard, I don't think they will feel too much. Right. But the problem exactly. is when you start getting scared and you start holding because you don't want to spend, which I understand you don't want to spend too much, but then you don't want to work to create more because you oh, I want to have to work harder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then you're going to, and that's the continue the economy moving on. You know exactly so but, uh, it, yeah ultimately that's what helps the economy bounce back recover right these yeah. businesses that that keep pushing that keep continue to create new things or try find new ways of getting customers right because it's true what you mentioned i mean even this past weekend it was the holidays right so oh. i went to the mall i think it was on monday and that's even crazy. then it was so packed it was busy and i was like uh, I don't know if we're in a recession right now. <laughs> it sure doesn't look like it, but it, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens yeah. next year. So yeah, don't don't focus. I mean, uh, pay attention. Uh, be maybe cautious of how much you spend. Yes, if you want to do that. In 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 my case, for example, um, if you're gonna be cautious about spending money, it's not because you don't want to spend it. It's because if something happened, right, and you have more cash. The other people you're gonna have more opportunities oh yeah that's a great point so mm -hmm. like for example uh it's funny because there's another book and i forgot the name i need to be better with that one um the guy say he get loans for his company mm -hmm. know when he needed you know when they offer it to him so and he keep them Oh, and I was making like what I mean that you get loans when you when they offer it to you. Uh -huh. Yeah, my company because if I need it, maybe they won't offer me the business the loan because I need it and right. maybe I cannot afford it. Uh -huh. So like right now, and it's funny because they got, I got a, a, a bunch of line of crates that I don't have to use, and I say okay, yeah, give me that stuff. So I got a few bunch of lines and crates in line there. Because guess what? Tomorrow a new building comes out, or a new agency, or something happened. And right. if I have the cash or the power, the the power to buy the the buying power, exactly, I can take advantage of that. Yes, that's a great. So point. Mm -hmm. it's more for that area that I would say to be more cautious than anything else. Yeah, because um, if it does happen, obviously things prices for things will be forced to go down. No one's buying anything, so supply, no demand, it'll drop down, which means if you're prepared and you have that cash or that capital ready to invest in something, you're gonna be far ahead of everyone else and then you'll have that more opportunities. And even for example, for your own business, let's say that you have an agency, you started by yourself, you have few people, right? right. And the recession happened. A lot of people, the first thing they're gonna try to do is what? I don't know, find another job, maybe. You're... And laid off people too, right? Oh, yeah. Laid off people. Oh, you know what? Angel, thank you very much. <laughs> and you know what? John, Pedro, Peter, whatever, all the stuff. Bye-bye, oh, right, right, everybody, yeah, yeah. right? Um, so, and that happened a lot. Yeah. Now, what you don't realize is that, okay, you're getting off people because you don't, you think that you can no control that, right? Right. And then my competitor, he didn't actually let nobody go. He didn't lay off nobody. He actually hired more people. 
So now my clients only have a really bad customer service while the other guy has more people and has better customer service. Right. So it becomes opportunity for the guy or for the, or, or for the person that's going to that, that gonna hire more people mm -hmm. or has better customer service because they're still paying everybody in that portion, right? Yeah. So that is what I'm saying. Sometimes even for business opportunity, it can be for you invest money in your own business during those time. And invest mean investing even mean in some cases to continue with your people, with your payroll, with your employees, with the people that's working with you. That's, that's what I'm into. Yes, exactly. And then if you think of it even more long term, let's say you do lay off all these people. What about when the economy recovers? You're going to have to hire more people, right? And are you going to be paying them the same wages that you were paying them before? No, you're going to have to pay them like... The new way or even find it or even find them find the people back you know yeah exactly but you're still gonna have to spend so, money on that so this so, so this that the, so depending on your business you have to make sure that right yeah. so i cannot tell everybody don't don't let go people oh, because yeah, i don't course. manage businesses but i'm saying you you can have a good opportunity right yeah so in this case if god forbid something happened next next year with um with um recession I'm gonna make sure that actually we put more people working. I already have that goal. Right. And I've seen in different places, different business owners, different and, and uh, people that follow the stock. <laughs> they follow and they, that's what they do in the business. Instead of being, mm -hmm. um, it's reducing, they actually spending during these times and they start getting clients from other people that are actually reducing themselves. Right. And I say, okay, I want that. So I, I'm, I'm we ready for that. And if nothing happened, we still have to continue working hard anyway. Exactly. Yeah, but you'll have more opportunity to work hard with more people, right? So yeah, that's, that's also another benefit. So if you're a new business or new person that's selling insurance and, and next year something happened, don't get scared about recession. Our, our, our market is beautiful. Our, our, uh, if you are a person that take, if you're a person that taking care really, if you are a person that taking really good care of your clients, mm -hmm. And you, you're going to be okay. You're going to have to work harder. Oh, yeah. And harder than you ever work. Or even, but you will survive and you will dominate that, right? Mm -hmm. If you are a veteran person <clears throat> and you have maybe a few people, all this stuff, um, actually, you're gonna, I will approach my team and say, hey, guys, I had two things. One, we work harder to get more clients. So second, I had to let you go. People right. say, let's work harder to bring more clients. <laughs> Honestly. Right. Yeah. And also, and even continue bringing more because it cannot. You cannot be thinking that you're gonna be working the same way during recession. No, it's not. It was proven last year with the last couple of years with that COVID. It been proven before. Some companies want to work harder to con even to make the same uh, the same profit or even less profit than when they were working before this whole thing change. Yeah, absolutely. Because it, it's not like people just automatically stop spending on anything and just necessities they're always gonna still want to buy things just a lot less than they usually do yeah but that's where you that's why you have to work hard and that's how you differentiate for your competitors <laughs> yeah you're gonna be because i'm posting more than the other guy or because my pro is better <clears throat> better quality because i have better customer service exactly <coughs> sorry yeah <clears throat> There's always something that you could do to to stay on top of it to to continue uh, making money, right? Because it, it's not like you said, the money's there. You just have to find more ways or work harder to get it because it won't be as easy. Yeah, but it will be there. That's the good thing. The money is <laughs> there already outside. You just have to figure it out. And to figure it out how to get it, the last thing that gonna we're gonna talk here is <clears throat> you should be have a little plan. Mm. Um, you should start putting like different goals during the whole year and how you're gonna achieve those goals, what you're planning to get this year, right? Right. <clears throat> In our case, for example, we had created a plan already like uh, maybe even three or four months ago. Mm -hmm. And we just kind of actually been looking different things in here and there. Right. Um, but you should have those goals and back it up with a plan. Goal by itself it won't happen. It's no. a dream. Goal by itself, oh, I wanna do that. Beautiful, it's a dream. <laughs> right? You had to have the steps how you want to get to those goals. 
Yeah. And, and this is the right opportunity. If you want to start writing down things, start writing first of all what you want, if you want, and then see go backwards and start writing down how you can get to those goals, right? Right, exactly. If you're a brand new person in insurance, uh, okay, uh, uh, next year I'm gonna start selling, but what about if a recession? What about if I, uh, should I go back to get a job or whatever? No, start thinking what is your market that you're gonna touch, you're gonna, you're gonna focus on. Yeah. How are you gonna get those leads? How are you gonna contact those leads? Right. How are you gonna be in touch with those clients? What product are you gonna offer? Exactly. Right? And what is your expectation? How much you planning to do per month? And the first month's gonna be slowly and it's gonna start running or something like that. So what is your plan? So what is all those steps that you have to take? How many phone calls you're gonna have to do? How many visits you have to do the people? Mm. Right? Yeah. So all those little things you can start putting in a little agenda, a little agenda in your phone or whatever you want and start planning it for 2023 to make sure that you have a better year as well. And Absolutely. it's and it's not because it's not the only year. It's because I mean, let's use that as excuse mm-hmm. again to pro to plan your whole year already. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we're already here. Might as well start working on that, right? Yep. Um, and it, like you said, it now is the time to make get everything in check. Right, set those goals down. Write down the plan. How are you going to get there? What strategies you're going to implement? And also, like. Yeah, see, see, just take a look at your business and see what you could do to grow it or things that maybe you might have been spending too much on because that's what's happening with a lot of businesses, like you said, with all the layoffs. They realize actually how much they were overspending. So, yeah, just take a look at everything and find you'll find more opportunities about how you could take your business uh, to the next level, right? Right get those goals that you set for yourself for next year too. Yep, perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just to summarize then, what you wanna do is first, you know, analyze this year, take a look at everything you've done, things that maybe didn't work out for you so well, see how you could learn from that, and then start analyzing, see what you could do differently. Write down the positive things. Exactly, write it down. That's the, the most important part, write it down, write down the positives, see how you could do even better for next year. Um, then set those goals, resolutions, but with a plan. There you go. That's that's the difference. That's what separates you from everyone else is you have a plan for those resolutions. Um, and just don't, don't have that fear of a recession because having that fear is what's going to stop you from having that mindset of actually continuing to grow and expanding your yourself yourself and your business. Right? Oh, one more thing, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, invest time educating yourself. In the way, in in something that started only like seven years ago, it was start reading books. Mm. Okay, so yeah. you read or audio books or whatever. Um, if you want any recommendation about a book, um, send us a, a message and I'll tell you a bunch of books. I mean, the pen where you are, the pen. I would like to know more about you and what you are right now in your business when you in your life. And right. I can recommend the different books. Uh, and for my case, personal case, this is my self-growth. It's amazing how many people out there has this knowledge that they, they want to share. Right. And, and for free, I mean, whatever it costs a book. Yeah. Um, but they have spent their lives to get this done, you know? So take advantage of that for 2023 too as well to start doing some uh, adding that. It's only uh, the average people in the United States reads a book per year. Yeah, that, that's yeah. crazy. And there's so much value, like you said, that you could get from reading. It's not easy, but set that goal for yourself. And then, like you said, uh, reach out to us. Like We'll be happy to recommend um, books. And if you even want to talk to us personally, then that's also an option. Yeah, yeah, right? please. Exactly. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you for watching. Please continue to like. Um, make sure if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe as well. That'll help us a lot. And uh, yeah, continue to send us your, your feedback, your comments, any questions that you have. That helps us you know, create more content and have topics to talk about. Things that could help you guys in your business because that's what we want to do. Yes. Just provide more value for you guys. So thank you once again. 
And yeah. Uh, Same thing to everybody. Happy New Year for happy everybody. New Year for everyone. Thank you for you for for your friendship and there. Bye.